Do you like or dislike your name? I never was fond of it because they used to call me Vana. <laughs> I thought, forget you. My name is Vana. <laughs> I think I got it somewhere one day that he was my the best example of love. Who? Is your earliest memory? About what? When I was born? Your earliest memory, either when when you were a baby or when you were two or three, what was your earliest? Boy, I didn't who I was. <laughs> oh, you're Michael Arizona? Oh, no wonder. <laughs> Do you remember when Uncle Bulla was born? No, I was a baby. Also, how much older am I than he? I don't know. Uncle Bulla. Two or three years, I think you know about the house you lived in as a baby? Nothing. Why should I remember anything? Where did you live? Up in the lot, as far as I can remember. I was born in the lot. Is it that same house that was next to Uncle Coloca's house? No, that's homestead. Oh. On Kinaoli Street. That was my answer. Two, two three, four... Is it two three four two three three nine I think. When did you move to that house in Homestead? Oh we moved from Keokaha to Homestead. So you went from Ola to Keokaha to Homestead? Yeah. How old were you when you moved to Homestead? I was going to high school I think, I'm not sure. Oh. Walk it, do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> Describe a character or personality trait you inherited from each of your parents. And which, <laughs> so what did you get from grandma? Oh, grandma, I don't know, but I fall, I, I, I think I was grandpa. I, I, I was just like grandpa. Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> so you got from grandpa being nasty. What did you get from grandma? And this is more than I could have ever had. She was an ugly example of which I never used. <laughs> of what? She was a, like, a loving person. Yeah, she was. She was sweet. Not, not Mike Valera or the Sure. <laughs> Do you have special toys or items that were precious to you? And what's the story of how they came to you? Do you have any special toys? I, I think I, I played with cars in the dirt. I made roads in my yard. In our, our garden, I believe. Or else I made it out of... What type of games did you enjoy playing with your friends, siblings, or on your own? What kind of games did you play? We played basketball. Oh, not basketball. Not, not basketball. It's baseball. What do you call it? We used to play a lot. We went smoke, sw swimming a lot. Swimming? Walked to the beach. Went swimming all day. Mm. Came home. Black as ever. Because <laughs> we were in the sun all day. No, not really. But this one area, she packed our lunch. Took the poor down there. I ate. That was great. Who took you there? Who took you there? Grandma's, I mean, grandma's mother. Oh. We, she and I fought for 
<laughs> she didn't like me. Mm -hmm. What did she say? Come on, you goof off, you stupid kid. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> What are some nostalgic smells, sounds, or tastes that bring you back to childhood? Did Grandpa cook a lot? Gardenias? We had gardenias in not the whole yard, but I remember gardenias. Oh, in the homestead, the second house we moved to. Salt alcohol. We had those that beautiful uh, colored leaf plants that we had, I had in the front yard. I mean, the front room. Mm. Look at the baby. So gardenias. All right, did you have your own room growing up? Room? R room. Growing up? I slept upstairs. Uncle Bula slept upstairs. <laughs> no. I had... I had a room when I was older, but when I was younger, I don't know where I slept. <laughs> I don't know. Next question. Where are they, these questions coming from? <laughs> Did you have regular chores that you had to do at home? All the time, like a slave, <laughs> like a maid. That's why I hate whatever. What were the chores? I had to scrub the stinking floor, wax it. No, I didn't. Uncle Will did. <laughs> what did we you have to had do? To wax the the floors. We had a beautiful house up there in Homestead. What were your up. chores? Make it rice. Was, it was all of us. My, I had to cook which I hated, but I, and I tried to avoid it a lot. <laughs> Uncle Bula didn't mind cooking, and he always cooked good food, mm. which Grandpa did too, but the Grandpa forced me. I don't like being forced. <laughs> other than your parents, were there any other adult role models in your childhood? I love Uncle Coloca. That was my mother's brother. How do you spell Coloca? K A L O K H O. Coloca. I think that's how you spell it. Okay. He was such a good father. They had all the kids in the next door. My my aunt died with her till I mean and left several kids which the father was not responsible for. So Uncle Kuloka took them in. Mm. How many I, kids was that total? I want to say seven, but I'm not sure. It was not, it was um, a, a family. I don't know how many people, how many kids. Who was the aunt that died? Uncle Julia, that's my mother's sister. What is an activity you used to do with your parents? State whether it was something you did with either one parent or both and describe a memory of enjoying that activity together. What do we do? I don't remember that. I don't think we did. Y'all didn't do anything together ever? Well, help them fix some uh, food, I think, for get-togethers. Did you enjoy that, or they made you do that? No, I enjoyed it. I like helping them. Okay. It taught me how to do things. Did it teach you how to cook? No, I didn't <laughs> like cooking. <laughs> <laughs> so I... <laughs> I resented making them making me, not them, my father, my dad. Did you feel connected to both of your parents growing up or one more than the other and why? My mom 
and I got along really well. My dad, I didn't, we couldn't talk together. He didn't understand me and I didn't, I didn't understand him. What? Were you given an allowance? If so, can you remember how much it was and what did you spend it all? Are you kidding? We never had any money. My dad always said we're broke. <laughs> God, I thought, what? And where did, where did he have? It seemed like he always had money to do something else, like buy a stupid brand new car. But he took it back after I grumbled like that. <laughs> but then he, and got his, he got another car, a, a Buick. I loved it. It was a big Buick. A burgundy color. Did you have enough money growing up? Are you kidding? <laughs> I never had any money. He wanted me to go to work and I didn't want to go to work. And I didn't go. What did you want to do? Sit home and take naps? What? I didn't, I didn't, wasn't trained for anything. Oh. And I didn't know, I didn't, that's why I was afraid to go to work. But I didn't say anything. I just said, no, I'm not going. <laughs> Sounds like you were the boss, not him. But whatever, I didn't like the way he bossed me around. <laughs> my mother always asked, my, my dad said, go do this. Go do that. I That's the Filipino way, though. Do it yourself. <laughs> Describe the biggest influences in your life during your school years. In what ways did they influence you? What? what who was influ influence? Influence? Who was the biggest influence in your life during your school years? I can't think, but I liked I liked school. You like school? Yeah, me. I I love my classes, especially Latin. Really loved Latin. Do you know Latin now? Hmm. Do you know Latin now? No, I I didn't know all of it. I mean, I was speaking yet, but I love learning it. Wow, that's a good one. What were your favorite subjects in school? I like, I like classes, but I forget, what was it? You like Latin? I like Latin, yeah. But I can't, I don't remember. Did you I like was. math? No, I was bad in it. <laughs> what about English? Oh, English, I enjoyed it. What about science? No, I didn't know anything about it. What about? I didn't, I didn't take science. I wasn't a high class student, what you call, what do you call it? I wasn't in the better class, or well, how do you say it, never mind. Honors class? I was good in one subject and I forget what it is. Latin, I, English? Yeah. English. What about history? This thing, no, well, I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't interested in that, but I did participate. What about PE? PE? We never had PE for, for the oh. cl class that I can remember. Only the ones that didn't do well, I think, <laughs> in class. We, they but, had PE all day, the ones that didn't go to school do good? No, I, I I can't say that. But they, they weren't they weren't good students. They they failed. Did you play any sports or instruments or participate in any extracurricular school activities? No, I couldn't. I had to come right home after school. Why? My go home and clean the house and cook and whatever. I thought, forget it. I hate it. <laughs> Jeez, but I, I had to obey, so I had to go straight home. I couldn't work home, walk the streets with my friends. 
<laughs> what do you remember most about summertime and other times you were out of school as a kid? Playing, of course. What? Playing. Go to the beach? No, I, I wasn't a beach person too well. Too well. No, what did I do? What did you do in the summertime? I can't remember what I did. I can't, I, I don't know what we did. I mean, I had like girlfriends that we walked the streets. <laughs> At the school we went downtown and we had this place where we ate, you know, had drink, uh, sodas or whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I like that. It was across, right across from the movie theater that we went to the movies a lot. Mm. But I couldn't stay out that that long. Come on, man! I, I want you to cook. Cook what? I don't know how to cook. God, he and I used to fight, and my mom, mom, mom would go come help me. And she would end up cooking. Good thing. Did you have a best friend or a close group of friends? Yeah, um, I, I can't remember who it was, if anybody, but I had good friends. I can't remember who they are, though. What about Limona? Who? Limona? The guy, the boy? Was he a school friend? Yeah, he was. Who else? Did you have cousins that went to school same age as you? Oh, I had a friend named Barbara, but I don't know. Who? Yeah, all my classmates were friends, except the Portuguese. <laughs> they were white and we were black. <laughs> Not black, but unwhite, non-white. Portuguese was considered white? Yeah. They were. We didn't have any houses. Oh. Much. They all, and they only hung out together. Mm -hmm. We hung out together, us cheetahs. Mm. <laughs> oh, Lord. But uh, we had nuns for teachers, and uh, I like my my favorite teacher was uh, Sister Natalie. She taught any kind of any subject. Mm. And Sister Celeste, she's um she was Latin, I think. I'm not sure, but she wasn't. She was me, not me, not friendly. But was she and I were. I, I, I like her. Mm. Yeah. Do you consider your childhood to have been a happy one? Childhood, yeah, I had good friends. But I couldn't play. I had to come home and clean the house and cook <laughs> and whatever. I thought, forget it, I hate it. <laughs> Darn. But my brother, Bula, he just, enjoyed it. He came home and he cooked and I thought, but you go cook, Bula. Yeah, okay. That's and why he he's cooked. such a good he cook cooked. now. Huh? That's why he's such a good cook now. Yeah, he, he enjoyed it. I didn't, I didn't like being stuck behind that stove. And, and I didn't know how to cook and he didn't try to teach me. <laughs> What advice would you give to your teenage self today? If you could talk to yourself when you were a teenager, what advice would you give yourself? Learn how to how to do things. I was a good housekeeper though. I cleaned house well. I was interested in cleaning house and washing clothes and ironing, you know. But not cook. Forget it. I would call Bula. <laughs> Come, you go cook for me, okay? okay? I was, I think it was only eight months, but it was, it, it was long to me because I had my back problem. 
It was the coven. And where were you? In Honolulu. And I had to leave my, my, my mother and I hated it. She and I were so close. But the hospital took good care of me. The nurses were good. And there was a lady that looked like grandma. But she wasn't friendly. I thought... But I was... I, you know, I was lonely without my mom. So you were there for eight months? I believe it was. I'm not sure. But I, I enjoyed it. And we, we had, they, they cooked, you know, we had to eat three meals a day. But at home, we didn't, I didn't eat that much. We, we, we weren't that well, what is it called? We didn't have that much money. I, I, that's what I want to say, but mm. we, we made it though. My, they cooked good. Mm -hmm. But I hate it when they said, go in the kitchen to cook, Vanna. I would say, Bula, Coco. <laughs> he enjoyed it. I was, I think it was only eight months, but it was, it, it was long to me because I had my back problem. It was curving. And where were you? In Honolulu. And I had to leave my, my, my mother and I hated it. She and I were so close. But the hospital took good care of me. The nurses were good. And there was a lady that looked like grandma, but she wasn't friendly. <laughs> I thought, but I was, I, you know, I was lonely without my mom. So you were there for eight months? I believe it was, I'm not sure. But I, I enjoyed it, and we, we had, they, they cooked, you know, we had to eat three meals a day. But at home, we didn't, I didn't eat that much. We, we, we weren't that well, what is it called? We didn't have that much money, I, I, that's what I want to say, but mm. we, we made it though, my, they cooked good. Mm -hmm. But I hate it when they said, go in the kitchen to cook, Vanna. I would say Bula, Coco. <laughs> he enjoyed it. We always, I always had to tell him what I'm gonna do. And most times, I, I didn't tell him the truth. <laughs> then I had to go to church and confess. No, no. What did you confess? I don't know what I did. What did you confess? I'm not sure if I did that. That you were being Matis? <laughs> Huh? I would say, is that you? You were being naughty. I was naughty. Yeah. You had to confess that. No, I, I answered back. Oh, the good Catholic kid. <laughs> How old were you when you were in the hospital? I think I was eleven. Well. pretty young and my mom and I, I was so close to my mother. It was... Did you fly to Honolulu by yourself? No, she, she came with me and then left me at the hospital and I didn't want to leave. Oh God. But the hospital was so good to me and all the nurses. And there was a lady that reminded me of grandma, but she wasn't friendly. A nurse, I mean. Did you have surgery? Yeah. I was grandma there when you had surgery? Huh? Was grandma there when you had surgery? She came over from Hilo. She came over from Hilo when I had my surgery to visit with me. And that's how I got out of surgery. And that's where you met Kama Kea? Who? Kama Kea, is that where you met her? Oh yeah, she and, she and I had the same problem, I think, back trouble. But she got paralyzed like you know, she had to but she got along fine and then this other girl Geraldine she, she was in the hospital too but I forget why and she lived in Kona on the island of Hilo and we had we were close friends in Honolulu mm. But me and Kama were good friends. I, I really How did you keep in touch once you left the hospital? 
Oh, I, I went, I flew to Honolulu, I went to visit them. Mm. I mean, especially Kalma. That's mm -hmm. where I met with Kalma. They, she got me, she knew I love to eat poi a lot, so I, <laughs> she always made me something to eat when I got together with her. Mm. We, were, we were close. So you had a cast on you? From your yeah, back? They, they put, I had to stay in there for several months, I forget. And I, I had to lay in bed for several months. No wonder and you I like laying in bed so much. <laughs> I, I, used, I had to use the bed pad in, in, in bed. I, I, I hate it, but I got used to it after a while. And so you had a cast from your back all the way down to your legs? No, all the way down to the, my hip. To your hip about that area just from from up here to my hip uh. but that cast was not i couldn't walk you couldn't move could you no, could you I sit up in bed um they the, they would come and turn me over you know i had to lay, lay up but um after a while i learned how to turn turn up over in bed mm. they had a cast with um oh, what's it called that they, they would hoist me to yeah and, were your and, arms in a cast huh were your arms in a cast no, no just, just your body so no, you could move your arms around body. yeah okay but it, that that's where i i had three meals a day but at home, we didn't have that much food. Mm. I mean, we I, we didn't have to eat. We ate supper and breakfast. Mm -hmm. Did you eat lunch at school? At school, we, no, we had to, I, I forget what, I, I don't know about eating lunch at school. I think we had to bring our own lunch and I hated it. <laughs> I went to school with tuna sandwiches every day. I thought I ate, you know, no. After a while, I got to like it, I think. Oh, Auntie Keanu? Yes, very good, very well. Did she live in Hilo? No, she was in Honolulu. Okay. No, she's not from Honolulu. What no. uncles were there in Hilo? Uncle Koloka, we live right next door. Well, first we lived down in this area where the Hawaiian Homes Commission life. Mm -hmm. And I I had other friends, but not. What about no more uncles or aunts lived around there? Not down in Kirkaha. No, not close family. Oh. Only in, in, um, in Honolulu, my oldest auntie from my my mother my mother's oldest sister auntie Anne, and she, her their daughter i got along with annette mm -hmm. she was my age i mean she was a year older or so i got along they allowed me he allowed me to go out with my cousin some but i never go with my girlfriends and walk the streets like we wanted to Mm -hmm. No, come home, clean the house, cook, <laughs> cook rice. You know, I had to do. I was in charge of cooking rice. <laughs> I thought, oh, I learned. I learned to like that, but not the other kind, the regular food. I would ask Bula to cook for me. About the tidal wave. Who? D didn't you live through a tidal wave? Oh, that. That was. I was. I, I got ready to go to school early in the morning and we had to walk from way behind about four or five streets up the road to catch the school bus. They couldn't come to go house to house. But anyway, I got on the, I walked up to the area where we had to catch the bus and we were all on the, all on the bus and then, then he, stopped, he stopped and brought us back home to where we loaded and said you guys go home we, we, there's a tidal wave and i didn't know what the heck the tidal wave was but i got interested after we got off the bus and i 
learned about it. And my mother, I think, was a nurse at the hospital that was right by the way, where the waves hit, but I don't know if she was. Did you just go home? Huh? Did you go home for the tidal wave or did you go to higher ground? No, I'm really way back away from the water. Oh. So after I got off the school bus, I walked about four streets down. Okay. And uh, away from the water. Well, did anybody die from the tidal wave? A lot. Did you yeah. know anybody? Not that I can remember, but it hit the town right right where people were gathered and whatnot and you know and the thing is the water came in the waves came in and killed a lot of fish and all that and after the wave went out these people ran out to grab the dead fish that died and while they were grabbing the fish the wave the second wave came in mm. and wiped them out some of them that's what i heard well, how did they warn you of a tidal wave back then? That time that we had no warning. Oh. The water just came in and uh, I don't know how they, they... How did your bus driver know there was a tidal wave? Um, somehow they stopped them on the road and tell them, hey, you know, take the kids home. We have a tidal wave. They, adults will only talk to adults. Oh. So then they said, we gotta go back home. So they turned around and drove to where they picked us up and I had we had to walk home. Mm. And I didn't know what a tidal wave was. But after a while later we learned I learned how How old were you? I forget. I wasn't I forget now. I, I when you Aren't you alive there in Pearl Harbor? Wasn't I what? Alive during the Pearl Harbor. I heard about it, but Pearl Harbor was in Honolulu, you know, far away from us. Yeah. And that's where it was hit the hardest by the Japanese. Came and bombed the Pearl Harbor. And I, we were glad we were away from it. Did you know anybody in Honolulu then? All my families were there, but I don't know what they did. I can't. I can't remember. Because it was really just on base, huh? They were just firing on base, right? On the base. They bombed the air. Pearl Harbor was the base. Yeah. The it, it was not. Well, that, that, that's. Pearl Harbor was a base, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Anyway, it was. It was bad and, and I had a lot of relatives lived there but they weren't somehow I don't know what what they did I forget what was your favorite meal 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 what was your favorite food to eat growing up we, we didn't have too much <laughs> good food <laughs> I mean you like poi right yeah poi and what? That we had that poi and anytime we had pork. My my dad was a good my dad was a good cook. How did he cook your how did he cook the pork? I don't know, they mix it with vegetables and all that and that's where Uncle Bula stood right there and watched how the, my grandfather cooked. Our grandpa cooked. I tell you. Was it adobo? What, that's what Pork adobo? Yeah, right. And that's where my dad would say, Benna, come here, stand right here while I'm cooking and watch so you can learn. And I thought, what? You're crazy. <laughs> I thought, I don't want to stand here. What was your favorite candy when you were growing up? Candy? Any kind of candy, but we couldn't, I couldn't afford to buy candy. What about um, crack seed? Crack seed, I liked it, but I don't know how I got it. I don't think it was that expensive, I'm not sure. Mm. But I I love crack seed. I love my favorite candy, any kind of candy, but I can't remember what it was. Wasn't there a look candy bar or something? Yeah, that 
that was in Honolulu, I think. I, I don't know where we got it from, but mostly from Honolulu, I think. Mm. Did you always have a clear vision of what you wanted to do in life? No. <laughs> I didn't know what I was. <laughs> I have no, I, I don't know what to answer. Were your career interests influenced by anyone or anything in particular? What career? I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want to do when you were young, when you drank? Did you dream about being something? I wanted to be a secretary, that's all. You wanted to be a secretary. Why? That's, I just thought it would be fun. I, like, I wanted to do, what you call? What do you call it? Shorthand. Oh. That's what I was interested more in learning shorthand and writing real fast, uh, what you call take dictation in shorthand. Oh, okay. Did you attend college? No. They couldn't have, they couldn't afford to send me. You went to some kind of college though, or trade school. It was secretarial school. Secretary school? Yeah, it was local. Some kind of, what was the name of the school I went to? I forget. What was that? It's bitter. Where was the first place you lived when you left your parents' home? Mm, when the, Dad and I got married and we, he got transferred to Honolulu. We lived in this apartment. It was a nice little apartment in Honolulu. <clears throat> you mean when you first got married, you lived with your parents? What? No. When I when we got married, let me see. I forget where we lived. And when we got married. But I, I know the military grabbed him and what you call Transferred him? Yeah, that's when we got transferred to Honolulu. And we had, <clears throat> we found an apartment in Honolulu. It was a small <clears throat> one bedroom apartment, but it was, it was nice. I didn't know how to get buy Christmas tree or whatever. <clears throat> so I, I picked up a, a broken branch in the yard <laughs> and made tree out of that. For it Christmas? Was nice. I liked it. Mm. But I, I, I didn't know. The Christmas tree I thought was too expensive maybe. I'm not sure. How old were you when you started wearing makeup? Did you ever wear makeup? Not that I know of, not well. I think only lipstick, but I'm not sure. I think it was only lipstick. How old were you? Um, were you in high school? Did I wear lipstick in high school? I can't remember. In high school? I worked in the office at school, didn't I? No, your high school. Yeah, no. Uh, wait, oh. I forget what I did. Yeah, I worked in the office in, for Mr. Nelson. Not when you were in high school, though. I'm talking about when you were in high school. Did you wear makeup? getting all those questions <laughs> from what pets have you had in your life pets pets and what were their names cats pets did you I have a pet had... when you were growing up i had cats what were their names <clears throat> do you remember not really i had I can't remember the cat. I had, I preferred cats, but I can't remember their names. Okay. 
think I had more than one cast. I don't know. We couldn't have Captain Home Lolo, I don't believe, or Hamill. I think. I'm not sure. <coughs> but what, did, what happened when we lived by Annette's house? Well, I'm just wondering if we live with Annette's mother, Auntie Anne. I'm not, I can't remember. Describe activities you love doing or that bring you joy. Activities? <clears throat> what activities do you love doing or bring you joy? I worked in a school office, I think. <laughs> what? Like a hobby, not what you worked, like a hobby. What was a hobby that you enjoyed doing? Yeah, but when I worked in this, did I get paid? <laughs> I don't remember. I hope you got paid. Oh. Um, did you like? Well, I think so, because I didn't have any money and my father always would say, no, we don't have any money kept saying, no more money, no more money. I thought, no more money, you liar. You ain't about a 1956 Buick. Brand new. And after he got it, I said, well, how can I afford to buy that car? He didn't answer. What? He didn't want to answer. <clears throat> Did you like to hula? Oh, yeah. I did, but <clears throat> I don't know where I danced. I can't remember. <laughs> oh, shit.